Breakfast Club, bitches. You're a donkey. Ha, 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 Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, September 10th goes to a Connecticut woman named Ellen Needleman O'Neill. Now, Ellen is 64 years old, and this past Saturday, she crashed a 2012 Lexus sedan into a parked car at 2.30 p.m. What were you doing 2.30 p.m. on Saturday? And uh, when police arrived, they said they smelled alcohol on the woman's breath. She then failed a sobriety test, and a later test showed that she had a blood alcohol level of 0.23 Michael Jordan's number, okay? Nearly triple the legal limit. She was charged with DUI in possession of a controlled substance for a painkiller that was discovered inside her purse. Now, I know you're thinking, wow, this is one of the shortest donkey of the days ever. Actually kind of boring. Like, damn, Uncle Charlotte, all you got for us is a DUI, a car wreck, old lady in Connecticut on painkillers? Slow news day for you, huh? Well, there's more to this story. See, Ellen O'Neill is not a quitter. In fact, Ellen subscribes to the Aaliyah philosophy, and that philosophy is if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again, because six hours later... Six hours later... That's right, six hours after being released, Ellen left jail and went straight back to the liquor store. Wow. All right? <laughs> you just arrested me, got my blood pressure up, worked my last nerve, stretched me out, had me sitting in this cell for six hours, then blew my high. Damn it, I need a drink! And that's exactly what she went and got. And cops pulled her over again. Took her in, and she had a blood alcohol level of .09, which is still above the limit. So Ellen went to jail two times in 24 hours for DUI. Uh, I think it's time to play a game of Guess What Race It Is! Okay, guys. Connecticut woman, 64 years old, Ellen. Middle name Needleman. Last name O'Neill could be Shaquille. Arrested for two DUIs in one day. Angela Yee, guess what race it is? Clearly, she's Caucasian. Really? Shake it off, shake it off. What makes it so? Such, yeah, why what do makes you say it so clearly? clearly? I mean, her name alone. Oh. I don't know any black people named Needleman or mm -hmm. Asian or you know. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, <laughs> DJ Envy. Yes. My Dominican brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Connecticut woman. Connecticut. Sixty-four years old. Sixty-four. Ellen Needleman O'Neill. Arrested for TD, two DUIs in one day. Guess what race it is? I gotta go white. Shake it off, shake it off. Why? Ellen. I don't know any black people named Ellen. Or definitely do I know no any black people named Ellen? You just think of that because of DeGeneres. Yeah, but do you know any black people named Ellen or any Latinos yes. or Ellen? Who? Ellen Fitzgerald. Oh. Ain't she black? Ella. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Ella. Right. Ellen May. <laughs> Ellen <screwed> May. <laughs> Ellen May. <laughs> Ellen May. Come on now. Jamos, is there any Latino people named Ellen? Nah, not that I know of. Really? It would be pronounced Ayan. Ayan, Elenito. <laughs> oh, you listen, Angelie, DJ Envy. You're not right when you're not wrong when you're right. Okay, uh, she is indeed Caucasian. Yes. Not only did she reek of alcohol, she reeked of privilege. First of all, who catches a DUI and then is allowed to drive away from the police station six hours later? Maybe she so sobered up, but then to have the car Cassidy to go back to the liquor store, uh, get drunk and drive again, definitely sounds about white. All right, the mayonnaise is heavy with this one, ladies and gentlemen. So let's please give Ellen Needleman O'Neill the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> oh, no, matter of fact, let uh, Chelsea Handler give Ellen Needleman Ellen Needleman O'Neill, the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan mayonnaise. You know what? Let's let Kathy Griffin give <laughs> Ellen Needleman O'Neill the biggest hee-haw, too. Please give this giant jar of mayo the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> no, that's all the white people I got. <laughs> that's all the two, two white people we know? All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Up next, mm -hmm. Yee wants to talk filters. Mm. Yeah, that's because part of it was, you know, I watched 90 Day Fiance. And there's one person on the show that filters all of her pictures right before she's met this guy. Even when she FaceTimes with him and sends videos, she uses a ring light and she puts on a full face of makeup and does her hair. Now here's what happened on 90 Day Fiance. I worry when we see each other for the first time because I send a lot of my videos and pictures with filters to make myself look better. I'm 47, he is 26. The age difference is a huge concern of mine. Now, for people that watch the show, when you see the picture of what her filters look like, she looks like a completely different person. So I want to know, what are your personal rules when it comes to filtering? Recently, Demi Lovato shared a picture of herself in a bikini, unedited, showing all of her cellulite and everything. 
And she said it was her biggest fear, a photo of me in a bikini unedited. And guess what? It's cellulite. And she said, I'm so tired of being ashamed of my body editing it. Yes, the other bikini pics were edited, and I hate that I did that, but it's the truth. So how many people post pictures that don't have filters, that aren't edited, and maybe sometimes you judge them up a little bit. So what are your rules when it comes to filters? Filter face, head ass. Uh, All right. I don't want to fornicate with no filter. Listen, here's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, Filters are light compared to catfishing, right? Like using no, somebody. It's not the same. No, it's not using yes, somebody else's totally different picture in life. Well, yeah, no, it's not using someone else's picture. This yeah. is your picture. Angelie just showed me a big woman, right, that uh, filtered herself, and she looked like she was uh, 22, weighed about 140 pounds, and then the other picture looked like she's about 62. And the lady looked like she weighed about one. We call that fat fish. That was 90 Day <laughs> Fiance. That was the woman from 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> 800-585-1051. What is the question, Yee? And sometimes you see people and you know them in real life, right? And then you see their pictures and you're like, like wait who? a minute. Like who? Just in general, like celebrities, whoever. You're like, I see what you look like in real life, but your pictures look completely different. All right. 800-585-1051. What's the question, Yee? What are your rules when it comes to filtering and editing photos? All right. Call us now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.